Why do we hear sound? You may have learned that sound waves are produced because something is vibrating. What is vibrating to make the sound of the bell? You can see that the hammer hits the bell and makes the bell vibrate. We hear the sound of the bell when the sound waves reach our ears. When the hammer stops, it stops the sound. Sometimes the object is vibrating so fast, we cannot see the vibrations. This is a tuning fork. When the tuning fork is struck, the tines of the fork vibrate. Can you hear the sound it makes? Can you see the vibrations? The tines on the fork are vibrating very fast and produce a high-pitched sound that is hard to hear. Watch what happens when the vibrating tuning fork is put into a beaker of water. The vibrations of the tuning fork cause the water to splash out of the beaker. When the bell is in the jar, the sound is softer because the sound waves must go through the jar, which is tightly closed, but we can still hear the bell. Is there anything else we need to be able to hear the sounds? To investigate this question, a vacuum pump is used to remove most of the air out of the jar. Where there is no air, we can say is a vacuum. The gauges tell us the air pressure in the jar. Now listen to the bell. The hammer is still hitting the bell. The bell is vibrating, but it is difficult to hear the sound it is making. The only thing that has changed is the amount of air inside the jar. Watch and listen as the air is slowly put back into the jar. You can hear the sound better as more air is put back into the jar. What else do we need to hear sound? We need something for sound to travel through. This is something called matter. Matter can be a solid, liquid, or gas. The vibrating bell made a sound wave that traveled through the air so we could hear the sound. When most of the air in the jar was removed, we could not hear the sound. If we could remove all of the air, we could not hear any sound at all. Can you think of a place where we would not be able to hear sounds?